Today, we will show you how to sum up the story points from all stories linked to an epic and then update the epic with the total story points. Stay tuned for the full tutorial. Welcome to Ellie Solutions for a Jira Automation Tutorial. My name is John and in this tutorial, we will show you how to sum up the story points from all stories linked to an epic. And then update the epic with the total story points. We will ensure the story points of the stories and the related epic remain in sync. Every rule starts with a trigger. In this case, we want to choose the field value change trigger. We select the exact field we are listening out for, in this case story points. Now whenever this field changes in JIRA, this automation rule kicks in. We will also select the create issue and edit issue operations, and save the configuration. We will now add a new condition. A condition refines the rule so that it will target specific issues. Here, we choose the issue fields condition and clarify that the issue type we are looking out for is a story. Using the branch component, we can move away from the main trunk of the rule and work on related issues. This can be almost anything you want. In this case, we want to perform an action on the epic that is linked to the story so in the drop-down menu, we choose epic. If an epic is not linked to the story, the rule will skip the remaining statements in the rule. We will now add a new action and select the lookup issues action. The lookup issues action returns a list of issues from a JQL query. Using this action, we will get all the stories that are linked to the epic. The JQL will be set the following way. The issue type will be set to pick up only story issue types, and we will set the epic link to be equal to the smart value issue epic name. Let's save the configuration. Now that we have the list of stories linked to the epic, we will update the story points. Whenever you want to edit a field in Jira, we use the Edit Issue action. In the drop-down menu, you simply choose the field you want to work on. We will choose Story Points. There are many ways you can edit a field. Smart values are one of the most powerful ways to do it. They allow you to access and manipulate almost any data in Jira. We use the following smart value to sum up story points from the lookup issues returned in the previous action. Lookup issues refers to the list of stories linked to the epic. Story points represents the story points custom field. Finally, we use the sum function to sum up all the story points. We will name the rule sum up story points from stories. Let's publish the new rule. Now whenever the story points of linked story changes, it will be reflected in the epic. Let's test the new rule by updating a story that is linked to an epic. Let's open epic 1 to 3. As you can see, there are no story points assigned. Let's update the story DEF. Set the story points to 3. Let's open epic 1 to 3. Now when we go back to the epic, we can see that the story points field has been updated to 3. Now let's go and select a story that has not been linked to this epic. We will select story ABC. Notice that it has 8 story points assigned, but no epic link has been entered. We will update the epic link field with epic 1 to 3. Let's open epic 1 to 3. In the epic, you can see that the story points have not been updated and remain with 3 instead of 8. To fix this, we need to introduce another rule that recalculates the story points of an epic when a new story is linked. Let's create the new rule. We will start with the field value change trigger and look for the epic link custom field. As you can see, Jira Automation does not provide this option. 
so we will have to change the trigger. We will use the issue updated trigger instead. For the condition we will use the issue fields condition and set the issue type equals to story. Using the branch component, we will select epic. We will use the lookup issues action to pick up the list of stories from the epic. We will use the same JQL query from the previous rule. Finally, we will add the edit field action to update the story points and use the lookup issues smart value to sum up the story points. Let's name the rule as story, epic link updated and publish the rule. Now, let's test the new rule. We will go back to epic 1 to 3. Notice that the story points is set to 3. Let's go to story ABC. We will first unlink the epic. Now, let's link it to epic 1 to 3 to trigger the new rule. Let's open epic 1 to 3. As you can see, the epic story points has changed to 11. Now let's open story DEF. For this story, we will change the epic 1 to 3 to epic for 5 6. This will trigger the rule we just created. When we open epic 4 5 6, we can see that the story points is set to 3. Now let's go back to the previous epic 1 to 3. When we look to the story points, the total remain the same at 11 when it should be 8 instead. To fix this issue, we will create a new rule that will perform the cleanup. Let's go to the automation settings and create the new rule. For this rule, we will use a scheduled trigger. You can run the rule at a fixed rate or use a cron expression for more complex schedules. We will set the rule to run every day at 5 p.m. You can choose to either run a JQL query or simply run the rule if you're trying to create issues on a schedule. For the JQL, we will only apply it to epic issue types that are not in done status to reduce the scope. We will branch the rule to be applied to the current issue, which applies to every issue that was already filtered from the JQL filter. For each issue, we will apply the lookup issues action. Select lookup issues and enter the JQL. We will use the same JQL query from the previous rule. Finally, we will add the edit field action to update the story points and use the lookup issues smart value to sum up the story points. Let's name the rule as scheduled. Epic story points update and publish the rule. Let's test the new rule. Instead of waiting until the scheduled update at 5 p.m., we will run the rule right now. Click on Run Rule. Let's go to the audit log. As you can see the rule was performed on the existing epics. Let's go to epic 1 to 3 to validate the changes. As you can see the story points are set to 8. If we go to the history of the ticket, 
we can see that it was updated from 11 to 8. So this rule will keep all the story points in the epic in sync with the linked stories at the end of the day. It will work for epics where stories were unlinked and will also run for the epics that were updated by the previous rules. Feel free to use all three rules or the one that meets your needs. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you would like to be notified of new JIRA tutorials.